A Trip to the Rainforest by Jenny Dooley. Copyright Express Publishing. All rights reserved. This is Maria. She's ten, and she lives in Brazil. One day, while she's at school, her teacher, Mrs. Fernandez, says, Tomorrow, we're going on a trip. We're visiting a rainforest. Hooray! Shout the children. They're all very excited. They love going on trips. So next day, they all get on the school bus. Maria is sitting next to her friend Pablo. All the mums and dads are waving. Goodbye! Have a nice trip! On the bus, Mrs. Fernandez talks about rainforests. Rainforests are very important. There are a lot of animals there. There are a lot of plants too because it rains a lot. It rains for 200 days every year. Wow! Says Maria. Pablo doesn't say anything. He doesn't feel very well. His face is all red. Two hours later, the bus stops. Maria and her friends climb down the steps of the bus. They all stop and look at the rainforest. It is beautiful and green, and the trees are so tall. Maria, her friends, and Mrs. Fernandez are now walking along a path. It's very warm in the rainforest, and the ground is wet. Why is it so dark, Mrs. Fernandez? asks Maria. Because there are a lot of very tall trees and they don't let the sun's rays come in. Mrs. Fernandez goes deeper into the rainforest and talks about the trees. We get a lot of things from these trees, like rubber, cocoa and vanilla. We can also get fruit, like avocados. Look, there's an avocado tree. And this is a rubber tree. Maria and her class are walking through the rainforest. There are lots of small animals. Pablo sees a tree frog. Then Miguel sees a beautiful butterfly. After that, Juanita sees a strange bird. What's that, Mrs. Fernandez? It's a toucan, Juanita. Suddenly, the class hears a noise. It is very loud. Maria is scared. What's that, Mrs. Fernandez? 
They're monkeys. Don't be scared, Maria. They're just talking to each other. They're very noisy, aren't they? <laughs> the path goes beside a river. Are there any fish in the rainforest, Miss Fernandez? Oh, yes. And some rivers have piranhas in them, Miguel. Piranhas like to eat meat. So, don't go near the river. Ooh! <gasps> ah! Maria looks at Pablo. He doesn't look very well. What's the matter, Pablo? I don't feel very well. Oh, no. Let's tell Mrs. Fernandez. No, don't worry. I'm okay. Mrs. Fernandez says, The people of this rainforest are called the Yanomami. They know a lot of things about the plants and animals here. Yes, but where are the supermarkets? How do they buy food, Mrs. Fernandez? They don't go shopping, Juanita. They get everything they need from the rainforest. Wow! That's clever! Suddenly, Pablo falls to the ground. Maria shouts, Help! Mrs. Fernandez! Pablo's ill! Everybody runs to him. His face is white. Mrs. Fernandez is very worried. Oh, no! What are we going to do now? The bus isn't coming back for another two hours. Nobody knows what to do. Then there is a noise from behind the trees. It is a young Yanomami boy. Hello, my name's Namu. I live here in the rainforest. My grandmother can help that boy get better. She knows lots of things. Come with me, everyone. Mrs. Fernandez carries Pablo and they all follow Namu through the trees. He takes them to his grandma. Namu's grandma looks at Pablo and says, I know what you need. Then she goes to a small plant near the roots of a tree and cuts some leaves from it. Namu's grandma makes some tea with the leaves and then gives it to Pablo. The tea is in a wooden bowl. Pablo drinks it all. In a few minutes, he feels better and smiles. The children are happy and Mrs. Fernandez is very pleased. Thank you so much. I feel much better now. That's all right, Pablo. You know, you should thank the rainforest. A lot of its plants make medicine. Yes, let's go back to the city and tell everybody. You're right, Maria. We're going to tell the people when we go back to school about Pablo and the rainforest. That way, we can help to protect it. Bright and beautiful, all creatures, great and small All things strange and wonderful, we must say them all The rivers and the oceans, the waterfalls the lakes We should take care of water for everybody's sake Each flower in the garden, each 
forest and its trees, the valleys and the mountains, how wonderful are these. The atmosphere around us, the islands and the sea, these make our planet special, a home for you and me.